Okay, that's me, I'm Philip Fischer, and um, I would like to talk with you about a little bit about um, the, the Medbox line. When I started uh, a couple of years ago at ARI, um, I think we had around 15 different Medbox models in our product range, which is a little bit too much maybe. Um, so it was from the very beginning, uh, the plan was really to re reduce the quantity. So we started um, with the LME25 two years ago. So we announced it, um, I think it was IBC uh, two years ago. And it is the successor of LMB5 and LMB15. So now we have, instead of two mat boxes, we just replaced it um, against a new one. And the idea was to go a little bit towards the LMB5 and not um, towards the LMB15, because the feedback from the market was that people love the LMB5, but not love, they don't love so much the LMB15. And we tried to bring the best things out of the two mat box into a new one and added um, a couple of new features. So it's a clip-on matbox. You can see it here um, on the Amira as a two-stage version, on the Amira over there as a, a three-stage version. Um, it's for filter sizes, Panavision size, uh, uh, four inch um, at 5.65 inch. Um, it has a wide angle sunshade. It's compatible with all the clamp adapters you know from the LMB5 and the 15. The filter frames are compatible and the top flag is the same but we implemented some um, additional features. So, for example, you have a safety hook um, implemented here at the bottom of the um, LMB. So if you're using the LMB um, on a crane and you wanna avoid that it could fall down on your actor, you just click something in here, a safety hook, like this, it could never really fall down. So that's one of the features. We have an accessory mount on top um, for a UDM or a cine tape. Um, we have a tray catcher in here, and maybe you already had this um, in former days. I, we have seen a lot of gaffer tape underneath um, an LMB5, um, and we thought like this doesn't look very good. So maybe we have a solution for that. So we added a tray catcher. If you don't need it, you can just have it in this position. If you have a two stage, you have it like this, so they can't fall through. And if you have a three stage, just another click, and then it will block all three filters. So it's a very easy, um, a simple accessory. It's optional, but we have seen that everybody really loves it and, um, and uses it. So then we have mats available, which you can click in, which is not really new. The only new thing is maybe that we now not um, kind of labeling the mats uh, with a focal length, because Nowadays, with all the sensor sizes, it's very difficult to kind of really dedicate them to um, a special uh, focal length. So from now on, they're only kind of numbered from one to five. And then in, when you prep a shoot, you just decide which mat will uh, fit with your lens, and then you just like, okay, this prime will fit uh, with mat number one, for example. So this is a successor of LMB5 and 15, and I don't know if you've already used it, um, I just, Give it here around, you can um, try it out by yourself here. So the, the other new product um, we launched not long ago is an LMB6. Um, we just wanted to get the same idea into the 6x6 clip-on mat box as it is in the um, smaller size LMB25. So it's not replacing two other mat boxes, it's only replacing one mat box. So I, um, yeah, it's one by one. But we added uh, much more features if you compare it to the LMB4A before. Because LMB4A had not any top flag. It was not possible um, to have these interchangeable clamp adapters in the back. And the very interesting thing is that now we have a clamp adapter up to um, 162 millimeters. So now you can use it also with the um, big Ingenue zoom lenses, with the Optimo, with the 24 to 90. Um, Besides that, everything is kind of the same as in, in the LMB25. Mats, for example, were also not existing with the LMB4A. These are existing now for the LMB6 as well. So then the next step for us was um, to kind of the holy, yeah, the replacement for the holy cow in the industry, which is the MB14. So everybody's like, oh my God, they're gonna replace the MB14. Um, and 
it will hopefully replace, um, that's the plan, MB14 and MB28. It's called SMB1 Studio Matbox. And it has kind of all the same um, features and, and characteristics as the MB14 has. But again, we added some more features in, in the SMB1. So for us, it's like the general, the, the main cast character, character, characteristics are that it's a 6.6 inch at 6.6 inch matte box. It has a 4x3 sunshade. Um, it's compatible with all the filter rings and the filter frames from the MB14. And the features, the one, the biggest feature we think is um, the tilt module, which is built inside. So what you can do is, if you have reflections, and we heard it from many people on set, that there are more and more reflections now with digital cameras. They have been before with analog cameras, but our feeling is um, you have more problems with digital cameras with, with reflections. And um, sometimes people, production had to reshoot because it, it, they couldn't use um, um, the footage anymore or they've had to find a different um, position for the camera, so they had kind of limitations. The other thing was there were some workarounds when you got these re uh, reflections, which are happening in between filters or the uh, front of the lens and the filter. So what they did, they took out one of the filter frames and used the other one and angled it inside um, the filter stage. But like this, you lost just one filter, filter possibility. You had some light leaks from the top, so you had put something on top. So that's why we thought we have to find another solution for it. So with the integrated tilt module, you can just tilt the uh, mat box down and up, up, up to uh, 10 degrees, down up to 20 degrees, without adding anything else. So it's built inside. Whenever you need it, you have it right there. If you don't need it, you can just leave it on zero position. So that's the tilting module, and you can use it, you see it, now I'm using it with a whip, you know from the geared filter trace from the MB14. Um, you can use it here in the back if you want to operate it by yourself behind the camera as an operator. If not, you can also use it without the whip, just with your hand here um, manually, though that's no problem at all. Um, anything else to... Yeah, you've seen the other um, features or the, um, what, what, what the tilt module is about. You can see it here. Um, we have, ah, it says there at the bottom, upgrade for both versions possible. There is a version as well which is only extending. You, you know, like the extension um, that you can just um, go with the matte box a little bit forward and backwards. This is kind of, which is integrated anyway in an MB14. So we have a, a module which is only extending. And it's just for us a little bit, if you compare price and weight of an MB14 against an SMB1, that's why we made it. But to be honest, we are really recommending using the tilt module and not the extension module, because that's what I just said, the feature um, of the matte box. But even if, you're, if you go into a rental and you see they have the SMB1, but only the extension module, it's very easy to upgrade it just if they get the tilt module, you can just modify it within five minutes and have the tilt module um, in the mat box. The second um, very interesting feature of the SMB1 are stackable filter stages. So what I just did, I took out the filter stage from the mat box. And till now, you, if you have, if a DP wants to use five different filters at the same time, maybe, then you had to carry, and maybe you have to have a single filter stage because you have a wide angle. So then you have to carry like a single, a double, a triple, a four filter stage, and a five filter stage, uh, which is a lot of stuff. It's expensive and heavy. So what you can do now, you can just stack filter stages together. So the only filter stages we are offering now is a, um, a two filter stage with one um, filter um, which with a, um, how's it called? A gr what? Geared, geared filter tray, thank you. <laughs> with a geared filter tray um, and the single one um, which, which, uh, with a normal filter tray. And like this, you can just stack as many together as you want. So for example, we're recommending with the, with the um, example I just um, told you, five filter stage 
then you just need two um, double ones and one single one, and then you can stack everything together, like from single up to five uh, filter stage, whatever version you want. And it's, um, yeah, you can just now try it by yourself. I will pass it around. In the beginning, it's a little bit tricky to see, okay, how does it work? But if you're used to it, it's, it's very, very um, easy to do it. We added, again, um, our tray catchers. So you can see them um, here in, um, at the bottom. You can just click the tray catchers in individually for um, every filter tray. Um, and the back plate, you could even stack, uh, put the back, back plate directly to the mat box if you don't need a filter and you have an extremely wide angle. So it has the same interface in the back. The third feature <laughs> is that you can convert the SMB1 into an anamorphic mat box by only replacing the sunshade. And by the way, the sunshade, this is something which I forgot with LMB25 and LMB6. We are always using now um, captive screws in the sunshade. So the only tool you need is a, um, a three millimeter hex driver. So you can take out the screws, get the sunshade. Um, if you want to have macro shots, for example, just take it off, but the screws are captive. It's not like before, sometimes you took them out and then they kind of, they fell somewhere and then you lost the screws. So I heard from rentals that very often the mat box is coming back and it's one screw here and one screw here and all the others were, <laughs> were gone. So this is also passed. Now we offer it everywhere that you can take off the sunshade and you have captive screws in the sunshade. Here you can see the um, anamorphic sunshade. So we, it's exactly the same mat box as you can see here. Um, this has the 4x3 sunshade, and this is the anamorphic sunshade 2 to 1. The only thing you have to do is take off the sunshade, and you reposition the top flag holders to the second position. So there's one position um, for 4x3, and the other position a little bit further down for the anamorphic um, sunshade. Like this, you can still use the same top flag, as you can see it here, also on the anamorphic sunshade. Then you have dedicated um, side flags for the anamorphic sunshade, and you have the ones for the 4x3. Um, yes, I also pass this around that you can try it by yourself. So where did I put my remote um, flags? Talking about the flags, you can see here the side flex and the top flex. Maybe I show it here, it's easier for me. Um, we modified the, the mechanism on the, on the top and the side flex a little bit. Maybe you had the experience by yourself as well that if you have to move from really like outside to inside, it takes, or from very high to low, it takes a long time. And the DP says like, come on, come on, do it faster, do it faster, we have to shoot. So what we integrated is just a fast adjustment on, the on top here. So now you can do it really, really fast, and you have still the fine position here in the back. On the top flag, we also modif modified something. With the side flaps, you have the same mechanism here for the fast adjustment. And for the side flaps, we now have a friction-driven system. So you can fold them um, to, to an angle, to your angle where you want to use it, and then you just put the friction in and it will stay like this. So also if you're on a car mount, it will not go, go like, like, like this, it will stay, and you can still fold it in like you're used to with the, with the old one. The top accessory bracket, so normally there should be pictures as well, they're kind of lost now in the PowerPoint, but you can see it here anyway. Um, you can see it here on top, there's a sliding accessory mount, and uh, we put a UDM now on top. You can also use it with a cine tape, with small LED panels or small mini monitors. 
Um, that's an optional accessory. You can put it on or you can just take it off if you don't need it. The mats, the mats are, you can see here, one mat is already in the mat box. Um, it's not the system of the MB14 anymore where you fold the mats around uh, the sunshade. It's the system which was also used in the MB28. You can just stick and click them in. So like this, you have much less space if you have the mats in your, um, in your um, assistant bag. And we, have, we offer three different mat sets. One mat set is the classical one, which is spherical. For the spherical uh, sunshade, when you're shooting spherical, you just have the spherical mat set. The other mats are, if you want to shoot anamorphic, but you want to use the spherical sunshade, there are um, spherical like mats for the spherical sunshade, but with the anamorphic openings. And the third one uh, are the mats for the anamorphic sunshade. And then we added one, which is not really a mat, but something where, which you can use if you want to kind of protect your lens in between. If you have a break, um, if there's dust and dirt, um, or kind of, yeah, you know, sometimes props, they're coming go like with, with something and it goes like shh, and then everything goes into the lens, then you can just go like this and you have a protection for your matte box. Then we had to find a solution when you tilt the matte box and you have an angle in between the lens and the tilted matte box. We thought about a solution um, yeah, to make that possible. And um, we are coming up with a solution. We don't know if it's the solution, to be honest. I think it's also a little bit up to you when you're using the matte box and up to the rentals to find out is this really the solution um, which is perfect for you or are there other ones? Um, we made a very long one because we can tilt up to 20 degrees down. But if you don't need the long one, you can just split it into two halves and just use half of it. So that's how it is displayed over here with the zoom lens. It's just half size. And normally with most of the angles, this will be sufficient. Also, if you're using the, the standard uh, filter rings in the back, um, the donuts, you can, we, we tried it out, and with, to a certain degree of angle, you can still use them. So it's not necessary or always to go with these. And finally, we also made some improvements for um, kind of existing parts, which were in the MB14 already. So you know the swing, the swing away system, with some of the mat boxes you had the problem that they kind of um, overshoot it's, it's their locked positions. So sometimes they were not really kind of accurate um, if they're in, inside or outside. And this is also something which is really improved, um, which is a good feature from the MB14, but we thought we did it, we were making it a little bit better now in the SMB1. Yeah, I think that's the, the overview about our Madbox line. And um, with a little bit of fantasy, you may know w which Madbox will come next, but that's up to you. Um, I will not uh, tell you the secrets, but maybe you can find it out by yourself because I've, I've shown you two clip-ons and I've shown you one um, studio Madbox. So do you have any questions? about the mat box and maybe the use of the mat box. Yes, please. Yes. Are both halves of it the same, or is there one that has to go on the mat box? One goes to the mat box, and the other one is just like, you don't need it then. So just one goes to the mat box. And what you also have in the back is, it's the same interface, as you have for the reduction rings, which are already um, existing. So it's not a new system. Also, the back of the matte box itself, it's compatible to what we call the R1 rings, which are the ones from the MB14 and the MB28. And you have still the possibility to use a, um, um, a circular six-inch filter in the back of the, of the ring.
Any further questions? You're talking about, ah, OK. There's maybe something which is um, interesting for you, <coughs> which is a little bit different than with the MB14. So when we came up with the LMB25 and the LMB6 in the beginning, there were only top um, uh, flag holders. And uh, in the kind of standard, um, standard uh, mat box, when you, when you order it, there are only the top um, holders in, uh, in integrated. So if you want to have additional holders for the bottom flag to use the top flag as well uh, on the bottom, you just have to um, ask a rental for it or tell them, okay, they have to be kind of ordered separately if they're not there. So they're all available for LMB25, LMB6, and SMB1. With MB14, they were built in from the beginning, top and bottom. Now they're only the top ones included, and if the bottom ones are missing, you just have, have to ask your rental, please um, uh, order them, they're also available. And there's this, um, a user story, or kind of a pre-user story, because we were just prepping a shop in the Ari News. Um, it's from the cameraman, uh, the DP is uh, Boyan Bacelli. He did Lawn Ranger and Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And he, a couple of weeks ago, just right after we announced the SMB1, they prepped a job in, in, in uh, Budapest, in Hungary, and they asked for SMB1s. And they wanted really to have them when they, when they saw them. So that's a, a short story in an interview with him and his first AC in the RE News. And whenever you have an idea, you have uh, feedback for us, because you are the people working with our equipment on set, that's really very important for us. So please don't hesitate. If you have yeah, something to, um, which you recommend to us and say, like, I, I'm working with this type, um, um, accessory, and I always had the feeling this should be a little bit different, or there's something which is not existing in the market, and could you please integrate that in some of your products? Please tell us, because that's, I think that's um, our goal, really, to listen what you need, and then to integrate that in, in future products. So if there are no further questions, then thank you very much. If you would like to come here and test something out from Henrik's um, accessories or our accessories here, please go ahead. That's why we're here. Thank you for being here.